Hello again. Well, today I'm going to show you how to put together this rather fun pan and tilt uh, bracket from SparkFun, model number ROB14391. Okay, let's go to the big table and find out how to put it together. The actual kit that comes in a polythene bag, mine costs 947 yen, which is great value because it actually contains everything you need uh, to build it, including the servo motors. And so we have one bag containing the parts. There's also one bag of assorted uh, small and smaller and smaller screws and nuts. And the aforementioned uh, servo one and the two. Okay. And it's also importantly, uh, it was included in mine, another servo horn, um, which seemed to be loose, uh, but it is important to keep hold of that. And there are assembly instructions also. Single page. Okay, how to assemble. As well as the paper instructions, there are also fully illustrated instructions um, on SparkFun's website. Um, but interestingly, uh, the order of building is opposite. Okay, well let's begin. I'm going to bring the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. Open up the packet of parts. As they come. Uh, like that, you've got some kind of base that I have a circle in. And the first two bits we're asked to put together look like this, okay. okay. First, this piece with the large open hole in. Remember that horn, or arm, um, that was loose in the bag, that is going to fit into here. Oh, okay, so I can that. Okay, so in that goes, okay. Okay, from that bag of very, very small uh, screws and bolts and nuts. Now, SparkFun have included more um, screws and bolts and nuts than you actually need. So don't worry about losing them. And the one we need are the very, very smallest hole okay. It's a 1.5, M1.5, um, by 4 millimeters long. Okay, this tiny. Okay, so we're going to put that, um, so that fits in like that. And then from the opposite side, we we'll turn it over, put a second hole. Go then. Let's put it into that. Okay. Okay, so that's now uh, firmly in place. Okay, that will now come together. Oh no. First we need the servo motor on. Okay, so let's find the servo. Or one of the servos. Okay, the servos, each servo, and generally servos come um, with the servo motor, obviously, and some uh, connector. And they come with a selection of horns, okay, or arms and plastic, and some screws to hold those on. Uh, for this project, we don't need these screws, okay. Take that out of the bag. Okay, and this is the uh, SG90 servo, um, micro servo, uh, one of the most common and smallest used. And that fits into here. Okay, there's also a groove in the position that it can go in. And the only thing is to check which way round it's going. Okay, so we've got that coming to the back, and that needs to go uh, near to the front. Okay, one. Have I got that the right round? I think I've got it the right round. Uh, okay, and then on this side, that's got some screw holes. Again, there's a. Uh, I should just uh, push together. Okay, so we've got something there. Okay, then taking the longer self-tapping screws. I think in the instructions they're called the M2 uh, by 8, so they're 8, mil eight millimetres long. Uh, and they will go into the holes in there. And literally, the only tools you need to build this um, are basically some small screwdrivers, the Phillips head, um, 
and in a moment we may need to use that, or we will need to use uh, some kind of cutters to make some adjustments. We'll see in a moment. Okay, so that's one part finished. Um, the next is to put on this. Um, that's actually the pan part that will go round and round, and this part will be the bit that tilts, and that goes together like so. Um, okay, the next servo motor. And that's going to fit into uh, that standing there. And that piece you put it for uh, the cog will then fit into there. Okay, so we've now got our servo uh, in here. And again, taking one of those 8x4 self tapping screws, which will hold this into place. We're going to put that here. Got the wrong screw. Okay, so I'll hold that in place and then this will go and that will go. Is that it on the outside? Ah, okay, so pivots on that part. And then just, I don't know if you can see that, um, got some fixing points again. Those 8mm self tapping screws. Look at that. And got one on there, which will hold the servo to the okay, one. Okay. And then down below. Okay, so now I've got a tilt part and we can even manipulate that. Okay, so next is to fit the base. Now the base, this is where it gets a little bit complicated. Um, now you can probably see you've got the rounds of the base. That's going to fit in there and provide that kind of motion. Okay, now there is one small uh, problem with this. Okay, we have the bag of horns, and within that bag of horns, we have. Let's, yeah, let's open. Okay, the SU90 servo motors often come with uh, this kind of horn, okay, one of those. Uh, one without the cross, just straight. And the other one, if we can get it out of here. Ah, come here. Oh, I can It's just single armed. Okay, the one we're interested to complete this base part is the one like so. Okay. Okay, so with the cross. Now you notice um, that there's no way that's going to fit in there. So this is where we need to trim. Okay, and rather abruptly, we need to take off the long arms on this horn. Okay, so we come round. I've got some pliers. Okay, clip one. Okay, so like that, we've now trimmed that side. Okay, I've now trimmed that side also. Okay. Okay, now this doesn't show up so well. Uh, ah, maybe there you can see it. Okay. Um, there is actually a moulding to fit the horn into. Um, so that should fit quite snugly in there um, and then be connected to the other servo motor. Um, so that should sit down in there um, snugly. But what it does need are the edges of here trimming very close. Um, if not, it will foul and you won't get 
a good fit. Oh, of course, you need, just need to trim those right on the corners also. Okay, without damaging the remaining small arms. Okay, so that's it trimmed there, or nibbled away. Not the neatest job in the world, um, a little bit fiddly, and do be careful as you're trimming the, the bits of plastic off there. Okay, so that's now going to fit in, into our um, base. But in the base there are actually four mounting holes, uh, one for each arm. And we actually want to mount uh, our horn, in this case vertically. So that long part of the base there, okay, this part is going to stand in there. Okay, across there, the holes are actually a different distance and won't match up. Um, so like that. Okay, I'm going to go my fingers in the way um, but like that okay so turn it over and then using again the smallest screws the four millimeters if you can see them okay, they're going to go into there okay this is fiddly I use a smaller screwdriver Yes, that's one in. Let's loosen, loosen off the first screw and tighten up in a moment. Okay, one, two. Okay, then tighten both screws up. Obviously, it's got to be quite a good fit. Okay, and then next, and basically the final part. We now have a top assembly. Uh, this is the bottom part. Okay, so there you can probably see um, that you've got the top of the servo uh, motor, the gear cog there, um, to the base. We stick that together. Okay, again, with the long part of the base facing uh, what is the front of the tilt mechanism on. And then we just need to attach. Well, not attach, we'll just make sure it stays in there and by securing that servo motor head uh, with a bolt in there, screw in there. Okay, and that's it assembled. Okay, now to get it uh, hooked up. Okay, well I've now um, got it hooked up to the Arduino. Uh, you can see that behind. Um, this is a, a microprocessor which can be programmed and I've loaded in a program to control the two servo motors uh, using two potentiometers. Uh, and if I turn this around now, make slight adjustments, I can now move our pan and tilt bracket like so. Okay, we have the pan which is that way, and around, and tilt on the head there like so. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Any questions or comments, please leave them below. And thank you for watching. It's bye bye from me, and bye bye from him. Thank you.